What's going on everybody? In today's video, we're going to be talking about our brand new 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller. We're going to run you through a system overview. We're going to talk about some of the settings that can be changed, such as the battery type and much more. And after that, we're going to put on full display the Bluetooth app, allowing you to control and monitor this controller remotely. So let's get right into it. All right, now let's change the battery's uh, type on the controller. You do that by holding menu. And once you see the gear icon flashing, go ahead and cycle through the options by hitting OK, or you can go back by hitting menu. So since we're using a lithium battery, go ahead and select lithium by holding down menu again. And once the gear icon stops flashing, then you're good to go. Okay, now it's time to install your temperature sensor, and that's super easy as it's located right down here. So you just go ahead and plug it in. And just like that, your temperature sensor is now installed. Now, if we notice over here, here is the RS-485 communications port. Okay, now comes time to change parameters. So on this, it's really helpful because as you see up here, when the gear icon appears next to a certain data point, that means it could be changed. And when it doesn't appear, that means that this parameter cannot be changed. For instance, for the battery, it's showing a gear icon. We just go ahead and hold down menu until the gear icon starts flashing. That's when you know you're good to go ahead and change your parameter. So you just cycle between it by going and hitting OK, or you can go back by hitting menu. And then once you selected the proper parameter, go ahead and hold down menu. And just like that, when the gear icon stops flashing, your parameter is now set. All right, now let's run you through the indicators on both sides of the LCD screen and what they mean. But for that, let's go ahead and take you on inside. The top left is for your solar array. If it is on, the solar panel is connected, but not charging. If it has a fast flash, that means MPPT charging. If it's flashing, your equal or boost charging. Next is your battery. It'll be yellow. If it's on, it means that your battery is normal. If the light goes off, that means over voltage protection has kicked in. If it's a fast flash, that means low voltage protection has kicked in. And lastly, with a slow flash, that means that your battery voltage is low. All right, now over here, this red icon denotes the load. So if it's on, that means your load is currently on. If it's off, your load is off. With a fast flash, that means a short circuit or overcurrent protection has been enabled. And if it's a slow flash, over temperature protection has taken over. Then lastly, as we see right here, this pertains to Bluetooth connection. If it's off, there's no Bluetooth connected, but if it's fast flashing, that means there is normal Bluetooth connection. Then as we see right here, the LCD screen shows a few data points, which is important. So on the left here, you'll see a battery icon, and it'll also denote how charged your battery currently is. And then, as the screen cycles between each operating data point, you're going to see different uh, numerical data. You'll also see different meanings such as amps, and then you'll see volts uh, for your battery. You'll also have the degrees in Celsius. You also see your solar panels, amperage and voltage, as well as your batteries. Okay, so now that we've broken down everything there is to know about this 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller, let's now show you what it looks like when it's connected to Bluetooth. So go ahead and click on Solar Life, and then you'll be brought to the main page. Here you'll be able to see your PV array, your battery, and your loads. So if you go over to monitoring here, you'll be able to see what your solar panel's putting out in terms of voltage and current. Same for battery. You'll also see its temperature, its battery status, as well as its charge and discharge status. Then if we go over to load, you'll be able to see the same thing in terms of voltage, current, and the power as well as the energy consumed during the day, as well as total energy consumed. Then if we go to parameter settings, you'll be able to look at your device parameters. You'll be able to go through your battery parameters. At the bottom, you'll see uh, you can toggle advanced settings. You can also play with the max charging current. You can bump it down to 16 or all the way to 60 amps. Then for the load parameters, you'll be able to see the working mode. You'll be able to toggle manual, 24 hour, day to day, fixed, and the option of five stages. All right, everyone, as we close out today's video, we really hope that you enjoyed it. 
If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell to be notified when more videos go live. All right, if you want your own 60 amp MPPT solar charge controller, go ahead and hit that link down below in the video description to get yours today. All right, everyone, this is Dominic from New Power, and I'll see you on the next one.